great Caesar's ghost, it's Urban Nature Man. <laughs> How are you? Doing? You're looking very dapper. I am. I'm a fine looking gentleman. So what can I do for I you? I need to come up with something sweet and Valentine's Day-ish for Urban Nature Gal, preferably with something that she and I forage together. You want something sexy. I want something sexy. I think I can help. We do have to do something about your clothes. This isn't gonna happen. This is Valentine's Day, emphasis on romantique. It's good no, enough actually. for Hugh Hefner. Oh. <laughs> that this. is huge. This is pretty big. Do we have like yeah. a, the, oh, oh, perfect. Dog leash. That's another kind of Valentine's Day celebration. <laughs> <laughs> it's a life hack. There are four things you need to survive. I don't like the death. I don't like the death. The deadliest plants on the planet. So always be very careful. We gotta get this thing done. This stuff in a disaster situation is a lifesaver. You don't have to leave the city to connect with Mother Nature. I love it, I love it, I love it. What we've got here is the base for a really kind of cool gluten-free cake. Oh, and uh, you yeah. have brought me some weird things to put in <laughs> it. What is this stuff? Yes, well, I've got uh, the wild currants that we picked just a couple miles from the house, and per your instructions, have been soaked in bourbon overnight. Everything is better soaked in bourbon overnight. <laughs> We've got some pecans that my mom grows in her orchard up in Utah. Pecans. Oh, pecans. Yes, yeah, we got some pecans. And then we have toyon flour, which for those of you who saw our home and family episode know that I also use this in my pancakes. You know, Toyon was also the name of the sixth Jackson brother. <laughs> it's, it's like a, it's cher a cherry. Yeah, a little cherry flavored flower, and it's uh, gluten free too. Oh, cool. Well, then that actually fits in exactly with what we're going to do. All right, let's make a cake. Let's make a cake. I am going to butter a nine inch springform pan, and you are going to preheat the oven. Ooh, okay. Uh, what am I preheating it to? Uh, 325. First thing we're gonna do is we are gonna take six eggs and separate them. Okay. It's okay, they'll get over it. So I will do the egg whites back here in All this right. big fancy Dan mixer, and you can take the six egg yolks and five eighths of a cup of sugar, and you can mix those the old fashioned way because I know how you love that kind of thing. Great. What Dave doesn't know is in my 20s, I didn't own a hand mixer, so I took the end of a broken whisk, a drill, and made one. Okay, so I think those are good. Okay. Um, you've beaten the sugar and the egg yolks to a nice sort of pale yellow color. We have beaten the egg whites until they're nice stiff peaks. Wow. Next step, we're gonna take our eight ounces of ground pecans. Okay. You are going to add two teaspoons of baking powder oh, to those. Right. I think you can handle that. I think I can. After you mix that in, we're actually gonna pre-toss our currants that we soaked in bourbon overnight in the pecan flour before they go into the batter, and that just helps them suspend in the batter so that they don't all sink down to the bottom. Really? Yes. I didn't know that. Okay. Uh, your weapon. Thank you. Now we're gonna fold that mixture into, into the egg yolk mixture. Okay, I know I can't do that with a fork. No. Hey! I'll uh, take it. Yay! Uh, uh, all right. right. Let's pour we'll it in. Get rid of your high-tech machinery here. <laughs> all right. Just do it. And this guy? Yep. Perfect. Cool. And then just start folding, right? Fold. When you're folding, you're just trying to incorporate as much air as possible, so it's nice and light and fluffy and puffy. Right, since we don't have the gluten to create that structure. Exactly. Okay. When it looks like the consistency of cookie dough, okay. that's about perfect. Okay. So what is the next step? Next step, we're going to take about a third of the egg whites, okay. and we are going to fold them into the cookie mixture. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's about right. Okay, and then just... Just fold. Okay, I'll keep folding. And now you're just really trying to lighten up that mixture. Oh, so I probably shouldn't put you too hard on it, huh? No, nah, just fold the same way as you did before. This you want to really sort of incorporate. This is a workout. <laughs> is it? I'm sure we can get you a drill attachment <laughs> if you'd like. So how's that looking? Perfect. So for this okay. first stage, you really want it fully incorporated like that. Put it all in there. there. And this is uh, the important part where you really want to be gentle with it and just fold. I'll do it. We're actually going to try and fold this as little as possible. You want to keep as much air in here as is possible. So you don't have like a cherry flavored brick. Exactly. Though, cherry flavored brick. Yeah. While I'm doing this, 
why don't you uh, flour oh, right. our buttered pan? Right, 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 right. Because the final cake that we're going to end up with is delicate. You're just doing everything you can to prevent sticking. So why don't you set that down there and we'll pour ah, this right. into there. Makes me think of like a mousse. Yeah. It's, it, this is exactly the same way you make mousse too. Oh, looks like honeybee's hungry. No, no, you don't get any. That's for Urban Nature Gal. So just sort of smooth it around a little bit so that it's evenly distributed. We are all done. Just pop it in the oven. Pop it in the oven. Okay. Looks good, huh? And how long are we going to bake it for? For about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes. But really important, for the first hour, do not open the oven door. I know you really okay. want to know what's yeah, going what on wanna, in there. What if I want to check it or make sure it's not falling? I will tell you what's going on in there. Physics. <laughs> Let it happen. But well, what if it's like... One hour. Okay, okay. <laughs> we will see you when the cake is ready and we'll see how it turned out. Cocktails. Cocktails. Bonjour, ça va? You took off your sexy outfit. <laughs> okay, give me plates. Give me plates. To go on top, I've made just a really simple little glaze here. Uh, powdered sugar, a little bit of heavy cream, and a little bit of vanilla extract. Oh, man. And that yeah. is it. Thank you. Absolutely. God. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank Kids, you. have fun. Love you. Bye. Bye. Give our love to Michelle. <laughs> And I made this not at all by myself. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. So now you guys have a great recipe for a Valentine's Day dessert. Remember, you can replace a toy on flour with pecan flour, any kind of non-gluten flour. So try it for yourself. Get out there and play. Mm. Oh, I know. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good stuff. Mm-hmm. That's good stuff. Go straight to my thighs. <laughs> but I won't have an allergic reaction to it. It's gluten-free. It's gluten-free. <laughs> mm. mm.